One of Hartwell Lake's most mysterious spots is an island with a graveyard dating back to the Revolutionary War. But the real history of why Cemetery Island is also known as Ghost Island is a story not often told. One of the early settlers to the area around the island was Cyril Gray Eagle Broin, who built a small cabin on the high knoll along the Kiwi River sometime in the early 1700s. Broin had fled south with her mother, Kaleech, after her grandmother, Drekta, was burned at the stake for witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts in 1693. The mother, Kaleech, died on the journey, leaving young Broin with little other than her grandmother's satchel of talismans and totems and the stories that went with them. This was the land of the Cherokee then. It was land the Cherokee called Aya Aloyi, which means the center of the world. She often sang as she wandered the woods of High Knoll, and her voice echoed across the valley and attracted the attention of both the settlers and of the Cherokee. She sang in English at first, but eventually added the songs in the tongue of the Cherokee. Her gift with herbs and roots and berries and elixirs gained her a reputation as a kind of doctor, a medicine woman, by both the Cherokee and other locals. Also, her penchant for sleeping all day and wandering the hills and valleys at night built a reputation as someone who was a little odd. It was said she could cure fevers, heal wounds, and some said even revive stillborn infants. She was often sought for her medical help, and when she chose to be found, which was not often, because she did wander for days at a time, she provided that help. Sarah, though, was an old woman by the time of the American Revolution, and during the war she was considered a loyalist because of her ties to the Cherokee, so when the war ended, she was forced to leave her cabin and the land was sold to Revolutionary War veteran John Harris, who had married the daughter of General Andrew Pickens. Their grave sites are still there today. Harris promptly burned the old cabin and built Harrisburg Plantation, named after his home in Pennsylvania, right on top of the ashes on the high knoll on the Kiwi River. Where Cyril Gray Eagle Bruin went is unknown. Many assume that since she was more than 100 years old, she probably died. Others thought she had moved in with the Cherokee, but there is no record of either. However, there were reports of strange noises after she left at the plantation house and also in the thick woods surrounding High Knoll when the moon was full. Some say they heard her singing in the deep woods. But Harris and his wife reported something more strange, a knocking at the door each month when the moon was full, right around midnight. A heavy door hanger was banged six times and stopped. The knocks would continue six times and stop. Harris even reported this to local authorities, Worried about potential thieves, but nothing ever seemed to be missing and no one was ever caught. Harris finally got the idea to put flour on the porch around the door the next night of the full moon in hopes of finding footprints of whatever culprits were knocking on his door in the middle of the night. But in the morning, even though the return of the loud knocks came that night, there were no footprints in the flour. Some believed it was the ghost of Sarah Gray Eagle Bruin trying to return to her home after one of her wanderings. The plantation is long gone, and there's no longer a house on the few acres of land that survived High Knoll that was not submerged when the U.S. Corps of Engineers flooded the area for Hartwell Lake in the early 1960s. Some 57 graves which were dug for family members are still there today on the property, which is best known as Cemetery Island or Ghost Island. But campers and other adventurers who have visited the island during a full moon have reported hearing unexplained knocking sounds and the distant singing in the woods on the back side of the property near the graves. Why Sarah Gray Eagle Bruin, the original inhabitant of the island, continues to haunt the property is unclear. But if you have a boat and a strong heart, ride out to the island on the night of a full moon, kill your boat's engine, and listen closely. You just might hear an echo of history knocking on a door long gone or the singing of a woman whose grandmother was executed for witchcraft.